Welcome back. In this lecture, it is time that we connect our server or API project to our Mongo database. If you are new and haven't watched the previous lectures, then just a short note. In this tutorial, there are a couple of lectures. We are building a full stack web application based on four important technologies, MongoDB, Express, um, React.js and lastly Node.js. It's also called the MERN stack. So if you want to also build a full stack web application, you can start from the beginning. And if you started already and you are right now here, then let's continue and let's connect our application to our Mongo database. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. And please hit the bell button so you get notified once I publish new tutorials based on JavaScript and new technologies. So, first of all, let's open up mongodb.com. Here, if you haven't, um, if you don't have an account, please create one. Now I will sign into my account. We are using this because first it's cloud-based and second it's free. Okay, let's log in into our cloud account. And now, if it's, if it's the first time you sign up, there might be a step-by-step -step tutorial. You can make it or you can close it and we can go do it together. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to build a cluster. Here we are going to choose the free one. That's enough for our project. I will leave uh, the cloud provider for AWS, Amazon, and this really doesn't matter right now. These also don't matter. MongoDB 4.0 is enough. Storage is enough. The name, it can be cluster zero, really doesn't matter. So let's create our cluster. So this might take uh, a couple of minutes so until this is done, we can continue, I think, with the network access. So you have to whitelist the IP with which you are going to access your database. So let's check what is my IP. And let's get this one, copy it, and let's add the IP address. Confirm. Okay. Then we have, will have to create a um, database user. Um, username Arman. Password. It will be a read and write to any database. Okay. Uh, add user. Now, okay, we have our IP white list listed, we have our user, which is going to connect to a database. Now, the only thing we need is our cluster with our MongoDB. So this is continuing and I need the connection URL, but for that I have to wait until this is finished. So might take some take some time so I will stop the video and I will continue once it's finished. Now um, a couple of minutes have passed our cluster is created so here we have collections we can check it but right now it's empty we don't have any Mongo database ready and no collections inside of it so it will be just an empty screen. Uh, so let's go back to overview no, let's go back to the main screen, to the cluster screen. And here we are going to click on connect. Here we will choose connect your application. And we are going to copy this connection string URL. Okay, that's done. Now close it. And let's move back to our project. 
So it's time to connect to our database from our application. So the first thing we have to do is we have to create a constant with the root we just copied. So I will put in here my password. You also have to put in your password. And then it's time to use the mongoose library and connect to our mongoose database using a database URL. So we will say mongoose.connect. We will use the db root. And we will say use new URL parser equals to true. So what this will do, it will connect to our database using this URL string. Now, what we have to do is we have to check whether the connection is successfully or not. So Mongoose provides connected events uh, which we can use to check our connections. This event is fired when the connection is successfully or has a problem or when the connection is open. So the first thing we are going to do is we will check um, whether there is an error in our connection. So Mongoose connection dot on errors. If there is an error, please I have to bind the console, otherwise it will be undefined. Um, please show me the error in my console. Okay, now this event is fired when the connection gives us any error. And otherwise, once we have the connection open, then I want to continue to create my client site, uh, sorry, my backend APIs. So let's check. Here we will say connected to DB. Now, if I execute this, what we should see is either an error or so this should be open or we should see connected to database now let's check it out so let's check if you are in the correct folder backend that's correct notes server.js let's hit enter and let's see what's gonna happen so there's a depreciating warning that's not important and we can see that we are connected to the database successfully. So let's check also our error if this is going to work. Now let's remove uh, a character from the um, from our URL. Now it should give us some kind of authentication error. Let's connect, close this and say node server.js. Let's rerun it and see what happens. Let's see, we have an error. So the first thing I'm looking for is this one. So the position warning and connection errors. Okay, what happened? Failed to connect to our servers. On first connect, Mongo error, bad authentication failed. Great, so if we put in our password, then we can say everything is actually working fine and we are connecting to our database completing this lecture's aim. So we have reached our goal, we can connect to our database and now in our next lectures we are going to continue to create our API endpoints. So if you watched this video until now please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button so you get notified once I create new um, videos
regarding JavaScript and new technologies. See you soon. Bye.